but probably are authoritarian. Essentially, activists, people who pay attention to what the government is doing, who tend to oppose the government, they know what this is. So it is entirely unsurprising to hear that in the J-20 trial, someone scribbled Google jury nullification in a bathroom stall. Could this potentially tank the jury, or is this legal speech, and should the jury know about their right to nullify in this instance? Let me know what you think in the comments below, and we will keep the conversation going. I have been following the J-20 trials, mostly because I think this is important to pay attention to. It has to do with Antifa, street violence, vandalism, etc. And I was actually caught up in that arrest and was released after about an hour after speaking to one of the supervisors. So I think this is a particularly interesting case to see. And I do believe that we're going to see a lot more acquittals and we're going to see more charges dismissed. But again, comment below, let me know what you think, and we'll keep the conversation going. Stay tuned. New videos every day at 4 p.m. With any updates on this J20 trial, I will inform you here on my YouTube channel. So again, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all tomorrow. And that was our drive from Carson City to South Lake Tahoe, California. I have uh, some people in my car today said, do you really believe in that Hillary for prison bumper sticker that you have? I said, yeah, of course. She said, we do too. She said, her husband is a police officer. Probably won't get pulled over because of the Hillary for Prison bumper sticker and Ron Paul bumper sticker. It was a great ride. Made about at least 650 bucks. Yeah. Thank you for joining me. God bless you and good morning.